Hi there, everybody. It is me, Random Robin, and we are back with Lisa the Joyful. So last time we finally defeated Cindy Gallows and got a better sword, as well as probably had the smoothest boss fight I've had so far. Uh, now I'm coming to check if there's something I have to do with Terry, because apparently Terry is in charge beyond the list. So I'm wondering if I missed something and I wasn't supposed to come here when I did. Okay, he's not here. <laughs> so now I don't know what to do because I've now defeated the whole list. Oops. <laughs> Actually, that's a that's a speed tech. I'm back at the save point now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, back. Okay, back. Okay. So <laughs> Anyway, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to do now, because I've defeated all the names. Do I just mosey forward? No, not here. I know nothing's up there. So there's somewhere I need to go that I couldn't before. Okay, buddy's waking up. That's fantastic. Okay, so there is somewhere else I need to go that I couldn't before. Maybe this guy. Hang on, I'm gonna check. Maybe easy mode guy is gonna be like, oh wait, you have already defeated all the names? Cool. I'm just, because the way this game works, I feel that it's something that can happen. Like, the, the guy here is just literally waiting for me to come up and be like, how you doing? Hey, kid, my name is Larry Stintz. I'm no way sure before related to anyone that may or may not resemble me. I'm not, and uh, certainly not a shameless knockoff of any popular people you may or may not know. Okay, so obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't have the money. Okay, but nothing changes here, so I'm guessing I just backtrack then. Because I went and looked at Rando's body, thinking maybe something would happen, but nothing happened with Rando. Unless Rando's body's gone now. Maybe that was the idea. I'd go look at it and then come back. But I don't know. Or maybe I'd go back uh, westward, because I'm in the east part of Olaf now, so... Maybe the goal is just to come back west. But we'll see, because I, I really don't know what's supposed to happen now, because I've, I've killed everyone on the list. Cindy Gallows was the last one. Big Lincoln was supposed to be the last one. Which would have made sense, because if I had mend back when I fought Big Lincoln, that would have been so much easier. Okay, so over here, we come back. There's Brad's body again. Hey, Brad. But see, now Brad... So the list is done. There's no one else. So do I just... Do I just go back? Hang on, let me save real quick, just in case I die or something. Actually, here's an idea as well. If I want to try and get different endings, I have multiple save files. So, there's a bunch of flowers everywhere. What's the deal with these? Oh, there's joy pills. That makes sense, because every time I've beaten somebody, it's like the monsters keep coming out, so... Trying to keep an eye out for anything that may or may not. That's another joy mutant. There is a oh, there's another one of this guy. What is going? Okay, yeah. Oh, that's the thing that's been saving me every other time. Oh, you haven't turned? <laughs> that's okay. You did well, very well. Who are you? Make me proud, baby. What? Oh! Okay, we just fighting now. This thing has, like, saved me every other time, so that's kind of interesting. Ooh, that didn't feel good. Okay, can I... I could probably flash you or sleep you. Let's mend. Okay, so you do a solid amount every time. That's kind of scary. But I outspeed you, so... Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and heal this time. Okay, that's fine. I can now throat lunge again. Ouch. Okay, I'm gonna heal. I can out heal all the damage, so I'm not worried about that. I just need this thing to die. So this thing saved me every other time. So that that means that dude controls the joy music. Okay, got bleed on it again. Ah, you dicko. Okay, hang on. Let's let's heal up again. Ouch. 
Yeah, I'm basically taking any turns that I can to heal. Okay, that's fine. Because it doesn't cost me anything to do so. Stand back. What? Oh, the joy. Yado has a vaccine. It will stop you from mutating. What? We don't have time to talk. Go get him. But... Oh! That's why joy doesn't matter in this one. Because you can literally just cure yourself. Alright, there we go. Buddy, stop bleeding. Good. Yeah, and I'm at full health and joyed up right now. So it's, oh my god! What? How? You're not that strong. Who are you? No. You aren't supposed to be here. Who are you? Look at that pile! <coughs> Look at that! Oh my... Oh my god, that actually... Ugh. Looking at it more is hurting me. Who are you? Why are the beasts obeying you? Leave. Or I'll... Or I'll kill you. Ha! How's that? I'll... Out of all the men I've seen, you're the most pathetic one. You can't even look me in the eyes when you threaten me. Now tell me what's going on. You don't understand. Fine then. I don't care who you are. I want that throne. I don't think I want to be at the top of that, that building there. Oh my god. I think this is the end, by the way. Um, I don't have any stuff on me right now, so let's just guard. Yado is staring blankly. Okay. He's still just staring blankly. Can I flash him? Oh, that didn't even try to have an effect on him. Okay. Oh, I got another... I got another uh, crit. That's good. He's just letting me do this? Come on. You gotta start fighting back at some... Doesn't know what to do? Fight back! <laughs> I'm willing to fight here. He still doesn't know what to do? Is this supposed to be the ending? Oh, Buddy's head starts to hurt. What? Whoa, what the hell just happened to me? Something something just changed. All of a sudden, he's also attacking me. Alright, let's try and get some big damage. Okay, that's fine. I can heal that. Okay, he finally started putting up some kind of fight, but now I'm like, what the hell is up with him? But he can't control it. What is happening? Oh, no, it looks like Rando now. Oh, that looks way worse all of a sudden. Um, so something's happening to Buddy. I think she might be getting affected by the, the joy because she took some right at the end of Painful. That's why the joy doesn't matter now because she's already infected with it. Um, is my goal just to like outlive this one? He hugs me. I don't think I like that very much. Scrap? That did like nothing. What the hell? Now he's crying. Oh, it's Rando now, not Yato. Oh, because this... Oh my god, what is... Hang on, I'm... He's glaring. That's a normal Joy Mutant thing to do. Can I flash him? Okay. Before, it just had no effect. This time, it just missed. What's happening here? Okay. I know if I get in really big trouble, then I can eventually just, uh, whatchamacallit. Take a joy and call it good, but... Am I gonna see Brad in this mess? Because this is Rando right now, but, like, Rando's dead, so Buddy is obviously hallucinating right now.
So I'm just curious what's supposed to be happening here. Obviously I need to fight this guy and get whatever antidote he's got. But this thing is like not even... Okay, that's like the most attack this thing has done to me so far. This one's been pretty free. Rando is crying. Okay, but why is he crying? What is what is going on here that suddenly Rando is a problem? Okay, he tried it. Still crying. I don't know what's happening here. And I, well, I'm still wondering why Homeboy was sitting on a pile of Joy Mutants. That's... Yeah. Like, obviously there's some end goal here, but I don't know what it is. And apparently I'm going to get one of three endings. Uh, which will be, like, I guess my canonical ending, depending on whatever happens. But Okay, so I don't know what I can really do here. This thing's just acting like a normal Joy Mutant now. It's like, you're lucky if it attacks you. <laughs> okay. You keep crying on then, Rando. Obviously, there's some kind of weird... Like, Buddy's obviously losing her mind like Brad was. And now she's seeing, like, Rando and all this other stuff. And then the dude who kept torturing Brad from the first game is also, like trying to help Buddy out, which is weird. Like, I don't know what the idea is. It's just weird. Okay, homeboy just ain't going down. Come on, buddy. Come on, Rando. Get out of my head. See, he's trying. He's trying to swing at me on occasion. Is this because... Does this determine because of how I trusted Rando? Or what? I'm I'm wondering what what exactly led to this. Oh, he's done. Good luck, sis. Buddy is losing control. Well, I leveled up. <laughs> I got leech bomb. Why would I even level up from this? Hey, wake up. Today's the big day. You get to go outside today. I know a perfect little spot. You're going to love it. Oh, no. Oh, I can't run either. Okay. Just blood. Buddy's obviously losing her mind like Brad was. So, is Homeboy here to help Brad, too? Because, obviously, he's here to help Buddy. This, is, this might be the end. Of, oh, hey, Brad. Oh, it's Brad. Oh, we're just fighting Brad now? Smoke down the clean point of value. Fifty feet trying to poison you. Not bad. Um. Okay, I guess we're fighting Brad. Brad is lost. Brad is bleeding out. Okay, do I actually want to fight Brad? What is going on here? This is also Brad back when he had hair. Am I supposed to be attacking him right now? I'm treating him like any Brad doesn't want to do this. Well, no kidding. I don't really want to do this, but I'm not sure what else I can do here. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and mend while I still have some power left. Just so I'm at full health. Brad doesn't want to do this. Yeah, no kidding. But obviously I have to, so... Brad is lost. Am I just here killing Brad again? I don't understand what's happening here. I am very lost right now. Buddy. Yep, buddy. That was the best I could do, could come up with. Well, it's simple. You're my little buddy. Oh, that's why he named her buddy. I always called you that when you were a baby. I guess it just stuck. Brad and buddy. It sounds good to me. Oh, now he's taking the joy. Brad misses you. Oh, this is messed up. Brad doesn't know what to do. Am I just here killing my memory of Brad or something? He takes some joy. Heals up a little bit. 
But I'm about to take that heal away. Yep, that undid his heal right there, but now he's still doing healing. Brad doesn't know what to do. I'm assuming I'm going all the way to where he's like a joy mutant. Brad is lost. Yeah, he's just standing here taking it. Stop. Don't call me that. I don't like it. My name is Brad, okay? Call me Brad. Oh, because she started calling him Dad. Yeah, she put the makeup on him. Oh, this is messed up. Dad. Yeah, because she started calling him Dad. But she said, no, call me Brad. Or he said, call me Brad, not Dad. These are like all the stages Brad went through when he was like trying to raise Buddy. Oh, he's healing me. What the hell? What? Stop it. <laughs> I'm feeling really bad right now. This is actually making me really sad. He's straight up healing me. <laughs> I'm assuming he's going to become the Joy Mutant again and just... Oh, Brad, stop comforting me, please, man. We went on a big journey together, my homeboy, but you know, oh my god, this is actually making me really sad. Like, I'm almost tearing up. Same with Joy Mutant... What? A boy named Dusty? Who told you that? What did I tell you about asking questions, you idiot? Don't you dare go near your uncles again, you hear me? I have no son. Never did. Brad is hitting himself. Because this is now Brad after everything that happened. I feel bad attacking him, honestly. His heart, this, the nobody's heart aches. Because that's when Buddy, at this point, Buddy was like, no, I don't know him. I don't want to be around him. Oh my god. This is messed up. The nobody wails. Yeah, because by the end of it all, Buddy didn't really care about Brad anymore. Oh my god. Yeah, because at this point you feel he failed Buddy. Like, everything he tried to prevent happened. Even after he went out of his way to try and save her, it got to a point where she didn't... She realized what was going on and didn't want anything to do with it. Oh, you have to know this, Buddy. I was completely lost before I found you. You made me feel something again. Things no one has ever made me feel. You showed me what love really is. And that's why when I took a in, look into your eyes, it's the scariest feeling in the world. It's why I buried myself so deep into the darkness. But I promise you, I tried so hard to fight it. I tried no matter what. I really did love you with all my heart. I'm so sorry I failed you, buddy. I miss you so much. Oh, no. Goodbye. Oh, look, it's just a pile of them now. No. My children. There's the antidote. You got the vaccine. Well, now what? Do I chase homeboy? Oh my god. That's the cave I found Rando in right there. Oh. I'm wondering if I can go back. Well, now what? Oh, here's the dude. End of the line, coward. It's time you start answering my questions. You don't have a choice. No. Start talking or you're dead. Who are you? Get out of here. Answer me. You want to test me? Oh, you really want to know? I am Yado. I'm a man of science. A man of higher power. And this is my world. You are just a pawn. An insect engineered by me. I birthed you. I am your father. And you must obey me. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, this guy. Looks like you made it. It's you again. Yeah, it's me. I didn't need your help. I know. I just don't want you listening to that man. You should know something. Brad was a good person. What's happened to you wasn't his fault. 
It's hers. She twisted me up so much inside. I loved her. When she died, I had to blame anyone but myself. Brad never deserved the pain I caused him. Neither did you. That man. He said he was my father. Is it true? Is he my real dad? Don't lie to me. No. I worked with him. He's just a crazy old man. I followed Brad his whole life. You were the only one that gave him purpose. Not even Dusty could do that. Brad is your father. He loved you so much. The joy. Me. I drove Brad insane. It was my fault, not his. Why are you telling me this? I guess you just remind me of her. I was supposed to be her light. Instead, I let her pull me into darkness. It's funny. That poor girl. She would have absolutely loved it here. I don't get it. What did you do? What you did to Brad to me? Why tell me all this? The vaccine. Did you get it? I did. Use it. Save yourself. I'm... I'm... He's going to become a monster. Lisa. I did it. <laughs> I'm a good boy. I swear. I'm good. Good. Please. Oh, she eyed. He became a monster. Okay. Honestly, hang on. Let me. Let me. I want to check the time frame we're at here because this is obviously end game. Okay, we're actually at a pretty good time, surprisingly. But oh my god, so much is happening. All right. Well, I guess we need to take him out of his misery. Buzzo doesn't want to do this. Buzzo is bleeding out. So Buzzo. If you watch the first playthrough, he terrorized the crap out of Brad. Like, he he would make Brad choose between sacrificing an arm or his friends, getting Buddy's, like, nipple chopped off or some of his friends, giving up all his items or his arm. Like, it was insane. This guy would literally take every chance he could to do stuff to, to Brad. But... He obviously was twisted by Lisa, which obviously Brad was also partially mutilated. Like, mentally... Everything was like a big mind... The joy and everything else was driving people to insanity. Brad finally found purpose with Buddy, but obviously that didn't work out. Because the rest of the world was like, yo, it's a female, trying to make babies. <laughs> and so Buddy got put into this world she didn't want to be a part of. Didn't, didn't mean to be a part of. Ouch. That kind of hurt. Okay, hang on, buddy. Okay, relax. Okay, yeah. You cough up your own blood, not mine. So, Buzzo here was like a big problem in the first... For, for, oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I almost hit escape. Okay, thankfully now I can out-heal any damage any enemy does to me like that. Like, because if they hit me, I can just heal it off. And cause them bleed. So I'm and I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Yeah, it no matter what happens, I can come out of it on top. Lisa. I love you, I love you, I love you. Lisa, help me. What the He just became a bigger one. So he's becoming Ah Jesus. Okay, he didn't do that much more damage, but he's obviously He's obviously become way too far gone. Okay, I need you to quit doing that. Yeah, hit yourself. There we go. So I figured I was done, but it looks like there's just a little bit more to happen here. I'm free. Okay, I've killed him. I'm surprised I'm still getting XP in anything. Yeah. Oh, wow. I look more beat up. I did it. It's okay. I'm okay. Hey. Huh? Oh, okay. I thought I was in control for a second. Buddy, take the vaccine. You forget about me?
Now you're dead. <laughs> Dustin? Mm. No, I'm losing my mind here. Oh, and there's Brad. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> what Buzzo told me, what you said, <laughs> nothing makes sense. I thought I got rid of you. I was free. It was all mine. Am I going to fight Joy Brad now? What? No, I can't. Buddy, listen. We're sorry. We were wrong. How did Joy Brad get here? There's no way. You didn't need us. We only held you back. You did it all by yourself. You're strong, you're smart, and you're free. You are a queen. A god. We worship you. We love you. We need you, buddy. You can't leave us, please. We need you. Take the vaccine. Stay with us. Please. If I take the vaccine, they disappear because that's it's all in our brain now. But if I join them, then I become a monster in this world. That's why the joy doesn't matter if you take it in this game. Because you take the vaccine and cure yourself of it. You cure yourself of the madness as well. I want to be free from this madness, to be fair. Ah, oh, this is... Because now, now in order to do all this again, I have to save again. Or I have to go through all the fights again. Which I wouldn't mind, but... Oh, no. No. I need to take the vaccine. Leave them. I wish this was a yes or no, because now I'm not sure which button I'm pushing. <laughs> <sighs> this fight's been an emotional roller coaster, but I think this is the end. Sorry, guys, but I need to move on. I need to live this life. So I assume with that, I take the vaccine and they're gone. Or I'm about to kill Brad. No, 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 you can't end it like that. Show me what happened. You are kidding me. <laughs> are you for real? That's going to do end credits to me like that? Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, no, hang on. I'm going to, I'm going to let the, I'm going to let the credits play out and I'll come back if something happens. Oh, wait. Rest in peace, Widley to Diddly. Vocals by what? Is that the song that's playing right now? Okay. Uh, I don't want this video to be super long, but I really don't want you guys to miss anything. Thank you. This game... It is truly... Truly something else. I honestly don't know... Oh, is that Buddy's sword? Hang on. Well, because by now she shouldn't need it. She should be able to live her life. She's killed basically anyone and everything that would dare bother her. I'm assuming that's a grave for somebody. So if I chose to stay with them, I would have become a monster. But I chose to take the vaccine and free myself of it. As well as them. They're no longer in my brain. And I'm no longer becoming the monster like Brad was. I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm going to find out here in a second because if I... Okay, I'm not a monster. And I have his horn now. Oh, there's Brad. Yeah, because Brad wasn't dead. He was just taken by Buzzo. Oh, and there's a baby. Buddy had a baby, but with who? Wait, who the hell does she have a baby with? And Brad's still alive as a monster, but he has enough self-control to not just kill Buddy outright. And there's Rando's mask. She obviously buried Rando. Wow. But that's a baby. That means she herself had a baby. Oh, what just happened? This wasn't the plan. I won't let you do this. You think you have a say in this? She's mine, too. She's meant for this. How can you say that? I am the creator. What are you talking about? With her, I will rule this land. What? What about me? 
You were just a host. I've made her strong, resilient, determined. And she used to be your queen? Don't be stupid. I created this world and I will rule it. Alone. She'll spark a war. Anyone left alive will be sorted out by my children, including her. Perfect. You're disgusting. And you. You're just a used up bag of flesh. You're not needed anymore, darling. That's what happened to Lisa. Oh, that gave me an achievement. But that... So I'm left with questions. But at the same time, I think I kind of understand. Yato obviously start was probably the cause of the flash, which was probably like some kind of nuclear strike or something. Then he created Joy, which created the mutants. Obviously, that's why he could command them. That's why he's in charge of the mutants. He somehow found a way to control these monsters. And then... Slowly but surely, he let Buddy's creation... Like, Buddy's birth is the start of this world war that basically Brad killed everything in his path, and then Buddy killed everything afterwards. So all that was left was for the Joy Mutants to just exist while Yato ruled them. I'm guessing that's the plot. And what just happened there in that last little text scene was the fact that Yato was telling his plan to... What I'm assuming is Lisa. Or Buzzo. No, he probably did it to Lisa, and then Buzzo was there and tried to stop him. But, oh man, this game. <laughs> Alright, let me find my mouse. So I can... Okay. But that has been the ending of Lisa the Joyful. Holy crap. <laughs> that was something else. I don't even know... I don't even know how to feel about it. There was so much at the end right there, but it looks like I chose the better ending. So if I chose the not good ending, I'm assuming it would have had me become a monster. But then what's up with the baby? That's something I'm curious about. Who did she have a baby with? Because that was a baby. No babies existed on the planet except for Buddy for a while there. And then she grew up, so she had a child. I don't know who, though. I'm wondering who the father is, but... Anyway. That's a fear. You know, maybe, maybe the game theorist guy can figure that one out. <laughs> anyway. I... That was emotionally distressing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to, like... I'm gonna have to, like... Go pray to whatever God will listen or something after all that. <laughs> uh, anyway. That is it for Lisa... The joyful. Just like the first game, it was a it was a mind fuckery of no other power. Like I honestly am still so lost. I'm gonna have to like when I upload these, I'm gonna have to like watch it myself to try and get all the story in my head correct. <laughs> but anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. If you like it, hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for games or just wanna say hello, leave it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed or would like to, that'd be super cool. If this game is giving you some kind of PTSD as well, <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments. Maybe we can start a group. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyway, until next time everyone, have a good one.